Hi there, welcome to Ben's Astrophotography. If there is something that can drastically improve your final picture with the smallest effort, I would say that's flat frames. Here's a stacked HR from monochrome uh, subframe without flats. There's some minor vignette on the corner, which won't bother you too much, right? But when I process it with flats, it was like, wow, it becomes so much different. So in this video, I'll talk about how to take flat frames with the help of Sequence Generator Pro. Since the flats are used to correct the uneven lights on our camera's field of view, the most important thing of taking flats is to ensure an even distribution of white light coming from our OTA. First thing is timing. It's preferable to take flat frames on a sunny day because clouds will create some uh, uneven shades on your flats, which will be really bad. I always try to avoid noon because at noon, sunlight was very strong and it's hard to find an area with even brightness. Thus, 9 to 10 a.m. or 3 to 4 p.m. would be a perfect time. Second is the setup. I'm using the back of my pure white t-shirt uh, fixed to the front of my OTA with a dew heater. It's important to spread out all the wrinkles on the edge to make sure nothing else will cause dark corners. Preferably, I will point my scope to somewhere 90 degrees away from the sun and at the same time at least 40 degrees above the horizon. Still, that's for the sake of getting an even light distribution. Also, you should avoid direct sunlight on the t-shirt because you don't want to highlight the texture pattern on your t-shirt. Once we are ready, let's start. I'm using the flat calibration wizard from SGP's tool menu. It's just so easy to use. I only need to choose the filters and bins that I want to take flat for. Then SGP will run an automatic script to figure out what's the best exposure time for each. Best means the average ADU of each pixel should be about half of the max ADU on the CMOS. That's around 30,000 in my case. I know the sky is very bright, so I set the max exposure to half a sec just to save some time, otherwise it will start from 5 seconds. When I hit start, the script will run by itself and record the best exposure time. After that, I hit the flat wizard from the tools menu, choose add flat events to a new target. SGP will automatically generate a target and events for flat frames. In this case, I have three narrowband filters being one by one. As you can see, the exposure time are pretty much fine-tuned. I give it a try, take one flat for each filter, they all look good. The histograms are very close to the middle, which is super. I increase the repeat number to 15 frames and start the sequence again. In about five minutes, it's done. As you can see, with the help of SGP, taking flats are really easy, right? But before leaving this video, I should remind you of two important tips for taking flats. Number one, always use the lowest gain on your CMOS or the lowest ISO on your DSLR to take the flats. No matter which gain or ISO setting you use for the subs, Always use the lowest you can because you want your flat to be smooth as possible. And number two, if your camera has cooling, try to cool it down as much as possible because you don't want hot pixels on your flats. If you can't and have some hot pixels, the only way to get rid of it is taking darts for your flats, also known as dark flats. All right. That's it for today. Hope you like it and see you next time.